Elodie Jameson, and I'm in the fashion design program. I did want just kind of a switch up of location from White Rock, and I thought Victoria was a nice place to be. I have a lot of friends over here. Um, and yeah, it seemed like a cool school right by the water and in the city. Making, and I've never tried making a ball gown before, so. With the limited materials, um, yeah, big as I can get it. Oh uh, yeah, so these are the final products that I sewed up. So this is a vest made out of some Carhartt coveralls. Here's the two back pockets that you can see over there. And the hammer loop. This here is my finished dress, the curtain. And originally I had planned just to have it straight down. Um, but the curtain I picked up had these pleats already in it. So at the very end, I decided to keep them on the fabric and add them to the bottom of my dress. And that's that. Making movies is it's hard work. It takes creativity, vision, focus. <laughs>Use time lapse. I was gonna do it this weekend, but I did another typical ADHD thing and I left my camera at school. I got distracted yesterday afternoon, I had to leave, and I didn't remember that I forgot my camera until ADHD this morning. It has also made my life better. I attribute my sense of humor and my creativity to it. I'm grateful for ADHD because it makes life more interesting. ADHD hindered and helps the making of this documentary. This film would not be possible without it. My name is Isaac Gregory. I was born on Vancouver Island and I still live here to this day. Been lamp working for about four years, going on five years now. I started off because my friend Michael got into it and it had been a passion of mine for a long time growing up, seeing the artists on Salt Spring Island at the Sunday markets and just the incredible pieces they could make and I finally got a chance to dive into it and I, I took that chance. I'm Sirajji. I'm a cartoonist and illustrator. I write, draw, color, letter my comics. The one I'm working on right now is Fourth Dimensional. So Fourth Dimensional, like the elevator pitch of the story, is it is an urban fantasy infused with Persian mythology. And when it comes down to it, it's really about these two characters. And it's just like, I don't think like an artist should ever want to stop growing. You know, it, it, it sort of stilts you and at that point, like, why are you doing it? So I, I always have that like sort of hunger to continue and, and to improve. My name is Paige and I'm a VR content creator and animator. That was my first introduction to VR. So having that sort of interaction and seeing how someone developed and made all these things come flying towards you and I could swing lightsabers all over the place. <laughs> it's just like the best part about it, you just swing lightsabers. Like who doesn't want to do that?
I'm a living legend. You ain't heard yet, you not get the message. From the moment that I'm stepping in, I get a couple weapons. Yeah, I turn to a beast when I'm rapping. I'm a living legend. You ain't heard yet, you not get the message. From the moment that I'm stepping in, I get a couple, we couple weapons. Yeah, I turn to a beast when I'm rapping. We're never meant to be 